Knowing what shields the radiation you work with will help you decrease dose rates in your area more effectively. If you do not know if the source of radiation contamination or exposure was alpha, beta, gamma, or neutron, you could use shielding to identify the type of radiation. Alpha particles are very large in terms of atomic particles, and as such can't penetrate very deeply through materials, and can be stopped with a piece of paper, the outer dead skin layer of the human body, or a few inches of air. Beta particles are more penetrating than alpha particles and can be stopped by a few millimeters of plastic or low Z materials. Lead or any other high Z material should never be used to shield betas as the beta particle, while slowing down, will emit Bremsstrahlung radiation, which is essentially a gamma radiation. So from a beta being improperly shielded, you could create a gamma hazard which requires different shielding material. Gamma rays are the most penetrating form of radiation. Depending on their energy, they can travel through up to several inches of steel and hundreds of feet in the air. Neutron radiations are very penetrating and can be stopped most effectively by a hydrogenous material such as water.